thank you uh, for the film. Uh, I have many questions in my head, so I'm not sure which one's going to come out right now. Um, but just going off that, that last comment that uh, that it, um, it's very Latin in Peru, just wondering about the last scene where we kind of move into uh, like a Christian festival that seemed to be sort of in stark contrast to the rest of the film. I thought um, the rest of the film being more focused on the mountain, La Riconada, and um, sort of the Quechua spirit, I guess, in general. And then we kind of cut to uh, an ending where it's daytime and everyone's doing a normal kind of life and the masks are off, you know, people aren't really drinking. Well, well, they were drinking yeah, at the end. Yeah, they're heavily wasted at the They're heavily time. wasted, yeah, I'm sorry, that, that was not true, actually. They are drinking. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. The Latin, what do you mean that with Latin um, part of Peru is maybe not a good thing? Because that final scene maybe kind of brings it back. No, but when I say Latin, it's like more Latino, like more like a natural society. You know, it's the man that rules everything. When I say that there's an imbalance about women and, you know, female and, and the male role, it's like that they're the ones, like sometimes we would be with people that would say, yeah, we are totally eager to participate in the film and then they would go back to their husband and the husband would say no and she would call next day and said, you know, it's like we had some problems and then maybe, maybe not. And then you would realize in the end that was the husband that was forbidding her to be part of the film. But going back to that scene, you know, I just felt that that is very also Peruvian, like this mixture of pagan culture together with syncretism together with, you know, all these old traditions and rituals. So for me, I think it was, you know, on one level to tell you, you know, it's like life goes on there on one level and also to kind of uh, show up that, you know, you have this contrast between the ritual and, you know, all these devotions and, and the whole weird thing to the mind, that, you know, the sacrifices and everything. And then you have a very, you know, religious and Christian society. And maybe this is something that I could tell you as a reference, and it's not there's no way you could guess that out of the film, but that film with the Yauki Yauki dance, that, that you know, when they're wearing masks, it's the only scene that I directed um, in the film. So, you know, I got you, I got them the costumes, I got the dancers, I put them up there, I said, okay, the band can go down the hill and then we will. And, um, and that is based on something that I had seen in location scouting where, where when they had uh you know one of the neighborhoods was their anniversary and they had this dance competition and this is a very this is a folk dance like a traditional dance that they do but it's an adaptation of a dance that um that uh, uh, the, the spaniards used to do so it's it's again it's something that was borrowed and culturally and you know, maybe the same movement with, with Catholicism in that region as well. Um, so they do it with those costumes, those like, uh, those masks and everything. So that, that the music is real, the whole thing, I didn't set up that, it doesn't come out of my imagination, but, um, but, but they probably don't do it next to a glacier. That's all. Question over there. Subsequent, well, what you just said, I have two questions. Uh, the first one is, um, with respect to the mask dancing, what is the character on the mask? And the second one is, uh, I think the last scene, is a snow scene. Mm -hmm. And uh, I presume it is, uh, it was before the beginning of this year, the fiesta, because, uh, I think it was uh, sometime in the winter. Why you put that scene as the last scene and at the very end there's a hole. Is it the entrance uh, to the one of the mines? 
I've been to. Uh, um, you're not talking about um, the the party scene. The no, the after that, the very last scene. Oh, the just, last shot. Just the right. last shot, the mining right. thing. Right, right. No, we shot that on the last day of shooting. Mm. Oh, this is the last day of shooting. Yes, yeah. yeah, so just after the. After the semi party, yeah. Oh wow! The thing is that the climate, you know, one day in the same day it can be snowing and then sun again and then snowing and and people get cold all the time. Oh. So it was really at the same moment. So the altitude is about is about um, five thousand plus, right? The what? Five thousand plus the meters. meters of the the altitude. Oh yeah, altitude. yeah, yeah. It's very, it's very, it's always changing. I see. It but is. what's the significance of the, of the of the of the of the whole? Is it the entrance to the? Yeah, it's uh, a mining mountain. bit. It's there are several entrances, and we see them. There's also a, a stab, a kind kind of a wide shot where you see also like the the holes. Mm -hmm. But um, but yeah, that that's another thing of the film is that we never really it, the mine is always present, and the people are there because there's gold and there's there's mining. But um, but we are not showing the process and all you know the thing within the mine. But more, it's more about the people and the place itself, and not just about the work and you know the specific thing, just the, the process. You know, this town it suffers from you know most problems that you get on on other mining towns. It's kind of the same thing, and in this festival there were a couple of other films that were dealing with informal mining. So it's all about the same thing, corruption, you know, you, you don't have uh, life quality, there's prostitution, there's all that. But the, the only difference here is that on the top of that you are at a very, very high altitude. And the effects it has in your body, in your metabolism are yeah, unbearable yeah, and very unpredictable. And uh, and some people they really you know they come from and and then you, you, they accept every kind of people you know you could work there with, with no documents so there's a lot of people that are just running away from justice or that it's a very you know it's an outlaw city now there's police again even if you know they're corrupted even our two drivers you know we we had two Peruvian drivers and two weeks or halfway in the shooting, they turned to us and they're like, you know, we didn't know that we were risking our lives. Uh, and maybe we don't want to do this. And we're like, you know, but you were hired, you are both Peruvian from Arequipa. You were hired by our Peruvian partners and they didn't explain you where you were going at. And they would say, yes, they did, but you know, we, we didn't thought it was like this. Because one thing is, is the roads, another thing is the climate changes. And, but they were experienced drivers, you know, they had stickers of Dakar on their jeeps. So I was like, um, and, and, and then they were afraid of, of the robberies because every time we would go up to La Rinconada, there was another murder, there was another story of violence. And the people like to tell these stories of violence. So it's like, you don't have to ask, they're, they're just, pleased to tell them and um, so we started to bribe the police and then they came to us and they said you know that's not enough because the police is corrupted and it's like how can you do what what could you answer back you know it's uh, so every time we were we, we had this kind of issues and uh, but again the film you know these are the stories behind the film but I didn't want to get those stories explicitly there so about the first part of his question about the mask, what's the character? Yeah, the mask is this adaptation of this colonial uh, dance. And I think, you know, it, it, it has some kind of um, figurative representation of the white man. And, uh, and that, that's kind of the, the connection there. Okay. We're almost time now. Do you have uh, anything to add? No, I'm fine. Okay. So thank you very much for staying for the journey and thank, thank you, you Ms. Lamas. Yeah, and thank you to the festival and thank you to you.